Hello everyone, so the final episode of Willow on Disney Plus just aired. This series was eight episodes long. Each episode is usually around 45, 50 minutes, some close to an hour long or even a little longer than that. But of course, this takes place about 20 years after the vanquishing of Queen Bob Morda, so the first Willow film, and it is about the sorcerer the titular character played by Warwick Davis Willow, leading a group of misfits on a dangerous rescue mission into the unknown. So I gave my thoughts about the first episode of this series when it aired back in, I believe it was November, but now we've come full circle, we're done. So this is going to be my season one review of Willow. So without further ado, let's get into it. So really with this show, I had my ups and downs within this first season. Um, I found the trailers definitely made this look a lot better <laughs> than it was going to be. It looked like an amazing fantasy series that was just really going to explore and enrich the lore of this universe in a lot of ways but I didn't really find that it did that a lot of the times. Um, the show also really heavily focuses on the new actors and of course too not in terms of like a passing down the torch so much generation. Laura Dannon and her base I don't want to say friends in a lot of ways but the people that she's grouped up with being Kit Jade, Graydon, Thraxis, um, they definitely kind of take the main stage within this series. And I found a lot of the time, again too, it follows them for the majority of the show. We don't really get a ton of Willow outside of the first and second episodes. Um, it's really all about their journeys and he's just kind of there to serve as a guide a lot of the ways. And some, one of my main problems is I just didn't find these characters to be interesting in a lot of ways. I found that they definitely annoyed me more than they were actually <laughs> getting me intrigued in their characters. It seemed like every single time that they started to go down conversations and exploring the character a little bit, there would be a little piece of something that's, again, too, you're excited to learn about their backstory, more of their characters, and then they would just completely swap to another character and almost leave those stories or that groundwork in the dust and never really touch upon it again in a lot of ways. Um, a lot of history, too, that I found with these characters just was left unexplored or... Um, when it was shown, there was just so much that was unexplained. And there is a lot unexplained by the end of this season um, with a lot of these characters that I just really feel like needed to be wrapped up within the, again, finale of this show. And um, at the end, if you stick around after the kind of main end credits, they do um, show that they have plans for two more seasons, so three seasons in total of this show. And we'll have to see where it goes from there. I'm not going to get into it for spoilers sake. But yeah, I just found that, um, again, the characters were really, really hard to get into. And of course, too, when these new characters are the driving force of it, um, there was a lot of times where I was definitely stressing my interest within the show and um, I wanted to gaze my attention elsewhere. But <laughs> it, it, it was really, really tough because, again, too, the overall story and the world is pretty decent and there's some solid groundwork there, but that's just not what they focused on. There wasn't really much anything to do with again to focusing on the world building the lore building within this universe or again to expanding the character of willow it's mostly about Alora dannon and um yeah, even too when it came to the villains in this i just found that they were so bland we hardly got to know their motivation or again to a lot of their characters they, they were just really simple great designs and when the action kind of came down to it there's some cool little things that they could do but um the villains aren't really anything much to mention within this and i found too that the fight cinematography is really bad <laughs> within this show um very cutty um again too the main problems i had with the show was one the writing and two the directing in a lot of ways where i just found a lot of the shots were not the right shots that need to be used. Um, so many, again, to even with the editing, so many cuts within the action sequences that you just miss out on okay, what seemed like a lot of better angles that they could have used for the fight scenes. It's very jumpy and very confusing to tell again to where you're going to be placed during the fight scenes. And that's something that's, again, to it's just I have a problem with and I find a lot of shows and a lot of shows on Disney Plus have had this problem really outside of the Star Wars realm of things. But yeah, the problems that I've seen within like the Marvel shows are definitely making their way into willow right now i also found too that the use of music within this they use a lots of very like contemporary or 80s um songs or covers of 80s songs like metallica enter sandman that just 
did not work at all <laughs> with the themes of this show with the worlds um it just felt extremely out of place a lot of the times and so was the language that a lot of these characters were using um when some of them kept like saying dude 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 um and then again this timeline or um some of the villains will use the mannerisms like uh you can't kill me i'm eternal bitch like things like that it's just um, i found were um again too it gave me a little comedic value with the show but i don't think that was the intent of it at all and i just found that so again to the music choice and a lot of the language choice just felt extremely out of place again too just the pacing i'm not knocking the acting in any ways because again too they didn't really have the greatest of materials to work with but i just found the pacing the writing definitely really fall to this show in a lot of ways there is a very interesting world behind everything that's going on but it's not enough for these actors to sell for really the overall story to sell when it's just very bland in a lot of ways um compared to the original film compared to the original characters that we saw in the first film it just seems like really too there was so much missing from within this season from story to hearts to again better action scenes to again to just better developing these characters uh, it, it just felt really empty in a lot of ways and really that's all that i have to say about this first season of willow i will return for season two and maybe season three depending on how season two goes but um this wasn't enough to hook me i never got hooked on this show i was just mostly watching it for again to my obligation to give my reviews for it but with everything taken together i'm gonna have to give the first season of willow six out of ten it's decent i don't know if it's going to really win over anyone who hasn't watched the original movie um if you watch the original movie i would recommend trying to give this a go and um Again, to see how far you can go, I know the first two episodes really turned a lot of people off. The last episode is definitely the best of the season, but <laughs> again, so it's really, really tough to get into. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, I would recommend watching it before you jump into it. They do a decent job explaining everything that happened in the first movie for the most parts, but there's a lot of things against it that they left in the background so that they wanted to focus on in this show that I feel like just would have been better explored if they <laughs> went in these directions and really built off of the last movie instead of trying to, again, to write all these new things in that didn't really feel like they had a lot of meaning or weights to the world. So if you've seen the first season of Willow, please let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And of course, if you'd like this review, definitely give it a thumbs up and you can check out everything I do on my channel through my playlist. Small well, links them up top here for convenience sake. Thank you for subscribing, turn that little ringer on so you know when I upload new videos. If you want to check out the description of this video on my channel bio, there's a link to the Media Mountain, which is my Discord where we talk about movies, video games, comic books, TV, pretty much everything that's awesome in this world. So if you join that amazing community, help make it even more amazing than it is already. And yeah, just awesome, guys. Love me.